Hi, I'm Tony Reid. I'm a rebreather technician for AP Diving. And today I'm going to show you how to empty and refill an Inspiration rebreather cartridge. We're going to use softener lime 797, silicon grease, and a roll of tape. First, we need to remove the lid from the scrubber. So you lift and twist the three paddles on the top, and it should pop off. So being careful not to pull any of the wires inside, carefully lift the lid off. This one has got a temp stick connected. The wires are long enough so that the, the lid and the cartridge can sit side by side, but you don't want to put any more stress than necessary on them. So we take the lid off, concentrate on the canister. So we need to remove the compression ring and the scrubber o-ring and we'll put them to one side until we repack it. And um, we always pop it out the way here, put it on the desk, it's going to get damaged, it's going to pick up grit or the soft lime as you're filling. So we keep it up here out of the way. Also, the cartridge can't go in with that in place, therefore you never forget to put them in. Top tip. So using the lifting tab on the top of the cartridge, lift it out of the canister. And we'll start by undoing the locking nut. Okay, so locking nut, compression assembly, and the bottom scrim filter, which is a round one. So we're going to empty this into a carrier bag. Remember, always dispose of your soft line, your used soft line responsibly, bag it and throw it away properly. So before we fill, we're going to check that the scrim filters are in place. So we've got the top filter with the castellation and the bottom filter again, which is just a, a plain round one. So make sure there's no damage to the filter. Put it in place and push it to the bottom. What we want to do is we want to spread out the castellation at the bottom to make sure no soft lime falls through as we fill. Now we're ready to begin. So again, using soft lime 797, we're going to fill the cartridge up. I'm going to aim for the stem. Be careful not to breathe in any of the dust as it pours in. So I'm going to fill it halfway and give it a light tap. What I'm doing is I'm trying to level it off, flatten it out so I can get more in, but I'm not trying to hit it so hard that I damage the granule inside. I just want to settle it down and pack it nicely. So I'm going to aim to put just the right amount in and I judge that by the rim of the cartridge. I want to have about that much from the top, so that when I leveled it off and flattened it down, it all fits nicely. Which is roughly, so gently tap it, quarter turn, tap it again, quarter turn. Again, I'm not trying to damage the granule, I'm just trying to level off the, the fill. Now the bottom, scrim filter goes in, which is just a clear, plain round one. Then the compression assembly. Held in place with the lock nut. Leveling it off some more, being careful not to bash it too hard. So now we're going to load the freshly packed cartridge into the canister, lifting by, with the tab, not the lead. So I need to remove the o-ring and the compression ring, check that the canister is dry, there's no debris or hair or anything lying in there. 
load it carefully and then check the o-ring check the o-ring for signs of damage if there's any hair or soft line from the filth sitting on it you want to get rid of that as well if you're in any doubt if it does look damaged then always replace it don't don't use one that's got obvious signs of damage on it we're going to grease it with silicon grease all the way around place that on top of the cartridge then we're going to do exactly the same inspection with the uh, compression ring you don't want this damaged either again if it is damaged you can always buy a new one straight from our website so load that in final check before we put the lid on if you give it a press down and make sure it returns back up if it sticks if it jams it's generally a sign that you haven't lubricated the o-ring enough in this case it's totally fine so now we're ready to put the lid back on so connect the temp stick if you have one and then neatly push the wires into the lid in the vein of the uh, mixing chamber there's a little tab which you can tuck the wire in away in so that makes the job a little bit easier then line up the three paddles with the three holes in the lid then with one little push lift and pull each tab and you're ready to put it into your inspiration rebreather and go diving thanks for watching this information is in your user manual and available for free on our website apdiving.com